Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, y'all know the drill. If you're a family member, welcome back. Y'all know what yes, to indeed. do. Grab yes, y'all a drink. You may not want to sip it. Just depends on what we say out of mouth. Um, if you uh, are new to the channel, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free 99 and it will go up tonight. Is. I'm just playing. But um, <laughs> Tiana and Iman. This one was called Vote for Bay. And I was like, what the heck that means? What mean? that means? Yeah. Let me tell you this. Well, before we get into this review, if you all have followed us on our Empire review and you've heard us speak about on how last week's um, Tiana and Iman um, recap, we were a little bit off just because we just had a death in the family. And it was a tragic death in the family. So we actually just pushed that video out as a way to really just get our minds off it for a minute. So we're going to go in a little bit of detail about what happened. Because yeah. a whole lot of y'all kind of got a little bit of it on Empire. But we're going to do that at the end of this recap or yeah. discussion or whatever we call these. Because we don't want it to interfere with what Tiana and our mind got going on. Because they ain't hey. got this going on. It's us. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so let's just say we're going to put that to the end. So yep. right now, Tiana and Iman, I'm going to say right off the bat, I looked at my husband and I said, they are the Hollywood version of us. They act just like we act. I'm, I'm sitting here. Argue the way we argue. Go at it. Go and at two it minutes we later, we are. Right. You back. <laughs> we <Yep>. are back. <laughs> but I'm going to say this right off the gate. <clears throat> I love how they don't let how other people's reaction of how they interact in their relationship change who they are. Because mm -hmm. we had that early on in our relationship because we pick with each other. And when I say we pick, we, we go pick. hard mm -hmm. at each other. And if you're a person that really don't know our personality, you would think that sometimes we just being mad, disrespectful, that we just childish, mm -hmm. that, you know... But I'm like, no, that's just that's just how we get along. We just having fun. We just having fun. Yeah. I pick, he pick, mm -hmm. and nothing. We know what's off limits though. We don't yeah. do that, and you know, we really beefing and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But he picks on me about stuff. I pick with him about stuff, and we just kiki about it and kaka about it and go on about our life, and that's how they do. Yep. So congrats to not letting everybody else's um opinion idea of what a relationship should be and look yep. like change who you are because it's not going to work. Yeah. I can tell Everybody's you right relationship is different. Yeah. And I will say another thing, and I don't say that about too many couples. I really don't. You can tell when two people are made for each other. Mm -hmm. Them two bastards made for each other. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and put it out there like that. Yeah. When you see him, you see her. When you see her, you see him, and they're not in the same room. Yeah. And the thing about it, uh, two, just because somebody's made for you, that still don't mean you don't need to put in the work. Oh, you got to put out a lot you of work. You got to still put in the work. And we're going to see some of that in a few minutes. Y'all should have saw it. And listen, <laughs> if y'all not watching this show, I'm trying to tell y'all, get into mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Look, we don't turn a whole bunch of y'all on. So if y'all have come over to this and started watching this because of us, thank y'all. Yeah. Just thank y'all. Now, you need to go and recruit some other people. You know, like the pyramid scheme thing. <laughs> Stop. You know, we started at the top. So we recruited you. Now we need you to recruit 10 more people. Then those people need to recruit 10 more people. And then saying you know it, that show going to be on and popping. For the person at the top. Season after the season. I mean, it's going to be for us. It's going to be for them. Uh, no, I'm talking about the, the peer risk scheme. Don't yeah, nobody get rich for the people at the, the top, top now. Yep. So I'm glad that I actually watched this show. Because like I told y'all, I like them. But I'm not a super fan of anyone. Y'all can tell that by my Instagram, mm -hmm. all of that. I'm not a super fan of everybody because at the end of the day, don't none of them pay my bills. That's right. I'm a super fan of making that bread. I'm a super fan of this right here. Yeah. Other than that, everything else is pretty much a hobby. But I did not know that Iman wrote music. I didn't nah, have I a no clue. clue. So now I have to go research this and find this out. One thing I loved about what he said was, he said, when you become a ball player, you get put in a box. That box is so small. Yeah. And then he was saying, even with that, He's glad that he has other gifts and talents because y'all know that sports is so political. Yeah, it is. That you can't do certain things, can't say certain things, you can't look a certain way. If the camera is on you, you got to make sure your facial expressions are right on cue because people will read stuff into anything. And the next thing you know, you sitting up there with a big old fine yep. for nothing. Yep. So with him doing what he's doing in the, in the music business and whatnot, it's 
actually exposing us to a whole lot of other gifts that Tiana has yep. that I didn't even realize that she has, like the gift of directing. Yeah. She's producing. directing, yeah, producing his um his rap his, video, his rap video, and they were talking about some how they wanted to do it in a way that it was like baby kids. And meets reason. reality yeah, in a strip, strip club. club. Like, what? And I said, mm -hmm. I need to see this. <laughs> Y'all need to go, never mind, don't even worry about it. Yeah, well, it, but, that's, but that was a powerful point, is to find somebody that compliments your gifts. Mm -hmm. And, of course, that comes through you knowing each other, learn the person. And, like I said, if you made somebody, is that what, just think about it, yeah, we... Our gifts complement each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What you can start, someone else can finish. That's right. That's how a relationship is supposed to be. You're the A, they're the Z, and then sometimes you're the Z, and sometimes you're the biggest A hole. So, <laughs> I mean, that's just how life that's is. That's how life is. And, yeah. um, when you find a compatibility partner like that, I mean, it is gold done. It, it, it goes back to, like, I told you when you were talking about no such thing as relationship goes, really. Mm -hmm. Is relationship inspiration, right? And I told her I liken that to like a newly renovated house. People don't see the process of all the work that went in when they went and got that house straight. Somebody had to go in and fix the pipes, fix the drywall, the sheet rock. The house was a mess when the people found it. Hmm. And most of the time, we get in a relationship when you find it, you are a mess. I don't care how one of you are a mess. Mm -hmm. And so when people come into people's lives and people say like us, relationship goes, we appreciate it. We love it and everything like that. But you catching us after the renovation. Hello. We weren't out there during the renovation period. So you didn't see the ugliness and the, and the, and the stuff. And we're still being renovated. Daily. <laughs> still. Daily. So, yeah. So when you, when you say that, you know, relationship goes, most of the time when you see stuff that you like, those people done went through some stuff. Yeah. Let me tell you how to break this down so that you'll have a visual of how we're saying this. Ever looked at HGTV? Yeah. You ever seen when they do flip it or, or flip or flop or whatever mm -hmm. those shows are? Demo. They go into those houses and the first thing that you say is, why in the hell did they buy this shack? Yeah. But the person that bought it has a vision yeah. and they can actually see the structure mm -hmm. of the building and to see the bones of it. And they'd be like, if only I could keep this amount of stuff right here, if I could keep that structure right there, I could deal with everything. I can rebuild everything mm -hmm. else that's around it. And that's how sometimes you have to look at a relationship. Now, I ain't trying to say build a man. Build a man. Nah. Uh -huh. <laughs> that ain't what I'm saying. He ought to be destruction when they come to them houses. The house is already standing. Yeah, you, <laughs> it's already been built. See, some of y'all, y'all get somebody they and they don't lean over like this and y'all try to prop them up like this. See, they ain't no, even it's been not going to work. Mm -hmm. Never work like that. But <laughs> I'm really glad that we're able to see Iman in this phase of his life because he was saying that there was a part of uh, time of his life when baby junie was first born she wanted nothing to do with her daddy nope. everything was about mama he was like hold on baby man. <laughs> i'm <laughs> here too i'm here i know that y'all bonded for, for nine months <laughs> and you know you really didn't and i'm thinking about it from a standpoint of i literally i freaking delivered you and you don't have nothing to do with me for real, Judy. For real. Huh. But now she's at a point now where it's all about daddy. And I told you when I first saw it, I said, that ain't Tiana, baby. That's you. That's all. Uh -huh. That's Iman's baby. It's like that now. Yep. What he just said about relationships, you see the now. You ain't see. You ain't see he, back then, yeah. And he was like, all I want to do is just have my baby girl sit beside me and just have a good time with me. Mm -hmm. Just have daddy time. And she, she won't feel it. Nope. So we saw where Tiana was actually... Um, being um she was invited to the vmas because she was going to be um possibly winning an award at the vma so now she he was trying to get baby junie straight and trying to find an outfit for her to wear so he took her shop and i said dude what you got on i said run it rolling through these streets just looking like you looking thank god you tall because immediately they probably said he a ball player uh, but if he yeah. was a dude walking through these streets here in richmond virginia looking like that you will be a suspect. Yeah, they would call the <laughs> cops on you. Be like, and I ain't say that there we're is him. this strange black dude. He's real tall. 
With a dude, he got a black thing on his head. I don't know what it is. And a white. And he got this piece of shirt on. <laughs> we need office over here right away. <laughs> he casing the place. <laughs> So he ended up in this little boutique and um, he's trying to get baby Junie to actually give him some feedback on what she want to wear. And she's she like, she didn't give up care about she any at the clothes. Ceiling. Uh -huh. Baby Junie hair was on fleek y'all. So when they, he finally picked out some things for him when it was time to leave. Then all of a sudden she saw some shoes and she was like, oh, shoes. shoes. He said, no, 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 we got outfit. We I, got said, yep. shoes. I said, yep, I said, she's a girl. She liked them shoes. I uh, said, go and get them uh, shoes. You know he got them shoes, right? Oh yeah, he ain't fooling nobody. Yeah. They edited it out, but he got them. Yeah. Up. So on their way to going to the VMAs, of course they had to do the hotel stay like the rest of us when we get invited somewhere. We got to go stay at somebody else's place. Mm -hmm. And we noticed that Tiana is kind of off in her own little world and in her own thoughts. Mm -hmm. And Iman gave her a little bit of time to do what she was doing, but as all men do, they should. Um, he was checking on his woman. He was like, you know what, Tiana, mm -hmm. you okay? Now, Tiana is me. If I don't feel like being bothered at that time, I don't care who you are. You could be Jesus Christ himself. Don't talk to me right now. <laughs> let me be alone in my thoughts and let me process it with myself. Let me do some rebuttals. <laughs> all, it's just all me, though. Let, let that all pass. Yeah. Then we can have a conversation. And that's basically where Iman, he got faced with real quick. Because he was telling her, you know, you, you snap, in that, out of that skin. snap out of it and don't let that stuff stress you out. Now, that's one thing you can't tell a woman. Don't tell me how to figure. <laughs> and then she went clean off. She was like, don't be cussing at me. I'm not your child. He was like, he's like, I didn't cuss at you. I didn't cuss I just, at you. I, just said I told you to snap out the skit. <laughs> that wasn't cussing at you. That's me encouraging you to get your stick together. So he knows how to handle her. Immediately, once she got in that mode. He walked on out. He walked on up that's to the baby Judy. It was like, mm -mm, that's, that's what not you do. today, mm -hmm. Satan. Because anything other than what he did would have caused a great falling out for no reason yeah it would have been it no been, reason yeah. that's another thing know who the hell you married to yeah know when their like buttons my are pushed said, in know when to hold them and know when to fold them i told y'all that <laughs> and we're gonna walk away yeah we're gonna walk away and for us it's hard to walk away mm -hmm. because when we see something wrong with y'all we want to fix it you know i want to you know I wanna, and i'll become super counselor i'm gonna talk you out of this i'm gonna <laughs> talk you off the ledge get your skit together yep. And you try to do that, and you make it even worse. Uh huh. So sometimes I'll be like, "You alright, babe?" No, I'm stressed out. I was like, "Okay, I'll talk to you later." Mm hmm And then by that time, I don't have conversations with myself. But this is <laughs> this. But this is the hard. This took me a long time to learn this right here, fellas. If you're just getting started, is that when a woman tells you what's wrong with her and start venting to you, she don't always want answers. I just let me put it ninety nine point. 5% of the time, she don't want your answer. She just want to talk. Mm -hmm. And you just listen and don't give don't give no answers, no advice. No. Only give an advice if she asks you what you think. And then be careful the words <laughs> that you use. I'm not saying And guess what? That comes with, over time, learning the person, putting in the work. So, I know now when she asks, I know what to say. And sometimes I don't. Uh -uh. So sometimes I'll be like, and then she'll be like, well, uh, are you going to say something? And so sometimes they'll confuse you too. So you'd be like, <laughs> okay, I know she don't want to hear from me right now. She's just going to talk. And then when I go in that mode, they'll be like, well, well are you going to say anything? I'm like, well, I was just listening. <laughs> <laughs> that worked last but, week. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so, we saw that Tiana was actually on her way to the VMAs and she actually, we all saw this all play out. And we saw where she actually did that Janet Jackson inspired hairstyle outfit and all of that. Mm -hmm. And Iman and baby Junie actually matched her swag, which was cute. But he had on a shirt because he was like, he loved um, Napoleon Dynamite when it was like vote for Pedro. Yeah. So he put on a shirt that says vote for Bay. Bay. I and like I thought that. that was so freaking cute because that he said cool. something so powerful. He said, I know that my wife is all that. Yep. I know that she has arrived. I know that she's golden. But now the world is actually catching up to what I know. That's right. And then Tiana was like, I get so stressed out about things. 
See, that's why she secluded herself because she had to get her thoughts together and she had to go through her own rebuttals in her mind about how things have played out throughout the history of her life. And she said yeah. she's always been that girl that gets to the door, gets to the door, gets to the door, and Man, the door is slammed slam in her face. face. But all we see is her success. Yep. We hardly ever see any of the doors that have been slammed in her face. And her first success we seen was a fade video. I mean, no, we see we see her like in the movie. We seen her like in the movies and stuff, but you really didn't. I think you won't know like Tiana Taylor, Tiana Taylor. You know, you just saw mm -hmm. anything, but the fade video put, oh, her, put her out there. Yeah, and she probably didn't know that. She just was. They probably just. I'm just gonna do this for for Kanye because I can dance and change the world. And even she said she said when that um, video was aired on the VMAs, she didn't even know. That yeah. it was gonna be put out there like that. She said, Well, when my husband saw it, she said that tried to put a baby in me that night. I <laughs> said, I bet you did. I told y'all when y'all dropped that tape, y'all been letting me know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know if I like the way that they told her that she actually won the award. Yeah, because it was, was like, kinda, yeah, she was doing an interview and say, Oh, oh, but you, you won. won. And she, was like, like, she was like, What? And I would have thought that somebody if you have a history, like I have a history of losing, <laughs> and like she said, she's used to doors being slammed in her face, mm -hmm. I would have thought that they were joking with me. Yeah. I wouldn't have had, because... That's what she was looking at, like, y'all, y'all buzz kidding. Yeah, this yeah, buzz kidding. yeah. I can't have that emotional breakdown of gratitude, yeah. and then you tell me, nah, dog, I'm just bucking with you. Yeah. So, I really feel like her response wasn't what it should have been, but that's just me. Mm -hmm. And it's because of how it was presented. But she, of course she won that award. And oh, she yeah. deserves every bit of mm -hmm. everything. I mean, so basically that was basically what the episode was about. Was It's bringing you more into the makeup of their relationship. And how they deal with stress. They mm -hmm. deal with arguments. And they deal with the successes of life. But through it all. Yeah. They got each other's back 100%. 100. But mm -hmm. this is one thing that I've noticed about them. That's why I said they are us. They are all right just in each other's company. Yep. They are their own party of two. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you come by here, I swear to God, you would think it were 20 of us up in here. Hell the way yeah. we carry on in this yeah, house. We know how to party all Man, by ourselves. On a good Friday night and we get that guy doing music jumping up in yep. here. Mm -hmm. People will call us on the phone like, what y'all party in the show is? Yep. Who over there? Oh, it's just That's us. us. Mm -hmm. I mean... That's just how it is. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna go into a little bit of our family life and what happened last week, um, and the yeah. reason that our video kind of was on a little down tempo. Um, we actually got a telephone call Sunday night. Well, on, yeah, yeah. It was on Easter Sunday, April Fool's Day, and the day uh -huh. that all your bills are, are due to be paid. <laughs> that Stanley's cousin was. Stabbed over eight times. Yeah. And it wasn't an April Fool's joke. And she had just passed away. And immediately it was just crazy. Yeah. And then to hear how it happened, it was a domestic violence mm -hmm. um, dispute. It was her boyfriend who, you know, ultimately murdered her. And I think mm -hmm. the part that really got us all upset you know, other than the fact that this happened, yeah. was that her Two children her yeah. were that? there. Mm -hmm. And they were on the other side of the door listening Trying to, to get this. in. And they ultimately <clears throat> had to see their mom like that. So yeah. it's one of those things where last week the whole internet was buzzing about the Emily B and the Fab video where he actually was threatening her and her dad on camera mm -hmm. and he busted out two of her front teeth and she had to get well she had to get them medically removed because he punched her seven times in the face so it was the week of just yeah. domestic violence just all around you mm -hmm. and I would share a little story about my and it hit me hard because I think about my sister my sister at the age of 17 mm -hmm. was shot in her face with a sawed off shotgun and in her chest my sister is forever deformed um i wish oh. that she would actually get on camera and tell you her story like she's not shy about it but to put her on 
a platform that's worldwide, Together, she's yeah. not going to do that because people are mean. They are cruel. Yeah. My sister's face was blown off. Um, she, to this day, it's been, it happened in 96. Mm -hmm. We're still in, we're still she's in still going through surgeries to reconstruct her face. Yeah. Um, so anybody that's in a relationship like that or some, or you even see signs or something like that. Yeah. Get you a plan and get out. out. Yes. And that is our public service announcement. Yeah. Get out. As soon as you can. Yeah. Yeah. So. But I was telling um, Lynette, I said the thing about with us, that's the danger of us dealing with our issues. Couldn't find out he has some insecurities about her leaving him for another man. And that just sent him over the hills. And the same thing with my sister. Yeah, so you have to, you know, if you got a person they dealing with insecurities, you either cut your losses and leave or make them deal with that issue because that's how and, it can end. And usually they yeah. need to deal with that issue without you. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need to be a punching bag for that issue. Nah. Because ultimately, most of the time, it ends up like that. Yep. And now... Sally has a cousin that they all have to bury on tomorrow. Yeah. So, you all, we thank you all so much for just being patient with yeah, us. Yes, and, and thank y'all for all the condolences, the love, the thanks. We appreciate that. Yes, because y'all are yeah, like our came through. internet family. family. Yes, indeed. So, with that said, straight from the VA. The Dirty Dirty South. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla.